everybody. I'm glad you could join us for another video on growing spiritually, a vital part of the mission here at Mount Tabor. Um, we've been talking for the last few weeks about the Wesleyan quadrilateral, the idea that there are four ways that we can come to know God better, that we can really know the heart of God through scripture, God's self-revelation of, of himself, <laughs> uh, through our reason, our ability to think things through, through tradition, the knowledge that's been passed down through the church, and our own experience of who God is. So the first week we talked about scripture, the second week we talked about reason, and this week we're going to talk about tradition. And this is the idea that those who have gone before us in the faith have a lot of wisdom and methods and insights to share with us to help us to know God better. And so it's acknowledging that the folks who walked with Jesus, the apostles that we read about in the Bible, that the early church um, that those who spread the gospel throughout the world, and then church leaders throughout history, um, maybe hymn writers, songwriters, um, but saints who have gone before, who have persevered in their faith, who have, in, who have run the race with endurance, that these are folks that we can learn from um, as we seek to know God better. And so I am curious to know, who are the people that you've learned from? Now, maybe they are people that you've never met, people from church history. Maybe you love to read about St. Augustine, or perhaps you're a, a, a lover of, I love Peter. <laughs> I think Peter is the greatest um, just encouragement to me of what faith looks like, to be persistent in faith, even though we keep messing up. That's, that's Peter to me. Um, but and then it could stretch into people that you've known in your own life or the traditions that you grew up with in your church um, or the traditions you grew up with in your family if your family was a faith-based family. I know for me, um, I just have so many great memories of how my family raised me in faith, how we were at the church whenever the doors were open. <laughs> we were always there. And it was that steadfast faith of believing that if you just put yourself in the presence of God, um, good things are going to happen. Um, and we always, my family was always one that held hands and prayed together. And just that um, that idea of uni the unity of our family uh, is what that taught me. It taught me that God had given me this family to search for him together and that we were there for one another. We were united and bound together as we sought the heart of God. And um, I just... I'm so glad that I had a family that was able to do that for me. But I'm curious to hear from you about who were the saints, what were the traditions that help you, that have helped you know the heart of God better. Maybe you have a favorite tradition here at Mount Tabor that just really puts you in the presence of God. Um, or maybe there's a person here that just has always been um, just an example of faith to you here. So share your insights, share how tradition has shaped your faith. And um, let's just keep growing spiritually together. I pray that as you go through this week, the Lord will surprise you with his kindness and will overwhelm you with his goodness as you seek to grow spiritually in your knowledge of him.